We have over 40 researchers in the neurosciences at Kent State University and um, spanning a number of colleges, a number of departments. So there's a, a really wide range of research that's going on here. And what we're trying to do with these symposia is highlight the research that we're doing, highlight the impact that, that our researchers are having on the, the field of neuroscience, broadly defined, and um, demonstrate to the, the world, as well as the people of Ohio, that we're providing value for the, um, for the support that they give us. This year, we're, our symposium is on the neuroscience of obesity. It's um, looking at the causes of obesity and the potential treatments of obesity. It's going to be held April 3rd and 4th here at the um, Kent State University Hotel and Conference Center. We have uh, a world-renowned um, obesity researcher, Dr. Michael Rosenbaum from Columbia University as our keynote speaker. And we have a number of other really well-known speakers from Yale and uh, New York University, from Ohio State University, and our own uh, Colleen Novak from Kent State, who will be a speaker on the program as well. Obesity primarily stems from differences in behavior. So um, our energy intake or what we eat is all behavior. And physical activity, which burns energy, is also behavior. And behavior is based in the brain. So neuroscientists have been traditionally one group of people that have been really interested in, in obesity approaching it from a behavioral angle. What in the brain um, regulates appetite, regulates food reward, uh, makes a person more or less likely to gain weight. So I got into this area of work when I was working with Jim Levine um, at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota, and he approached it from the, the human clinical angle, looked at people and their activity, but though he knows that it's related to obesity, you didn't really get at what in the brain is different in these people. So that's what I've been looking at. I've been looking at the brains of um, obese versus lean, say rats, for example, and finding out what in the brain makes them different that could lead to the differences in physical activity that you see. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite uh, people from Kent State University, students, faculty, staff, to attend this symposium. I'd like to uh, invite the general public um, from the Kent region, from Northeast Ohio, all of our academic collaborators to come and, and participate in the symposium, not just to, to listen to the talks, but to join in the conversation about obesity.